Uh, you know, as a team, we played pretty well. There's some things that we definitely have to fix and definitely have to, to change up. But you know, we executed well and our details were there. But you know, we always got to keep responding and growing each and every day. And when you heard the the play call, um, did you feel like you can hit that one for a touchdown? Oh uh, yeah, we were all confident in the play call. Uh, it was an outstanding play call, and you know, it was just a great response from our entire offense. You know, an absolute uh, belief in us and the play call, and you know, it was absolute outstanding protection up front. Rashad ran a great route, made an outstanding play, and you know, we just were able to respond as an offensive unit. Did you feel like there was some uncertainty there? In the Um, you know, we don't really think about that. You know, we just continue to respond each and every time. And, you know, obviously in the second half, there's things that we didn't do so hot, we didn't do so well, um, but we just had to respond and we found a way to finish. You know, um, we had incredible energy, you know, each and every uh, drive, and we found a way to scrap through and be able to finish that game off. Carter, how important was those first three quarters for you guys? Have Yeah, I mean, it was it was really important. Um, I thought that we started off really hot this game, and that's one thing that was missing against Nebraska. And so, you know, it was great to see that. Um, obviously, there's some things that we need to work on as an offense, as a defense, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we found a way to finish. Yeah. Um, first of all, I just want to clarify something for everybody. Any accomplishment that I've had this season is a direct reflection of the entire D-line. It's not me. Seeing stuff being said, we all work together as a cohesive unit. So I just want to clarify that for everybody. Um, end of the game, we had a, a call that was um, let me take an inside-outside. Chose to go outside, and I did a post chop. It's a move that I've been working on a lot. That was my sack against Nebraska, too. And, uh, and then, to be honest with you, I hit the quarterback and I had no idea what happened because I kind of dove for it and lunged for it. And then I got up and saw the way the ball. Like you had that tackle on third, the third one and you got him in the backfield. How big was that? What was kind of the defensive mindset at that point? Uh, it was a call that we had played multiple times throughout the game. Um, we knew uh, if we were third and short that they probably let me run the ball. Um, kind of catch us off guard because they were hitting short passes on us. And it took everyone, uh, all 11 guys on the field, to um, do their job for me to get in and make that stop. I'm proud of the way that uh, defensively we finished that game the last few series it was. So um, if you look at it, we had a pick, uh, the third down stop, and then Carter's sack fumble. Um, really proud of those guys, and we just got to continue to um, correct those mistakes that were that led to them getting back in the game, but um, excited and focus on the next one. Yeah, it was awesome for Shane to be back. You know, it's something that I know it was outstanding for him, and it was great for us. You know, seeing Shane back in the back of the game was just you know, it makes me smile. You know, that's everything that he's been through. You know, and. Uh, the way he had that injury and stuff, but it was just amazing to have Shane back there with me and helping me out throughout the game. And you know, I just love that guy to death. It's huge. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm very proud of the way the guys um, played. Uh, we know that uh, in those situations, we need to be able to uh, keep our foot on the gas and uh, finish the game out in a better way. But uh, you know, you never complain when you get a win. We're gonna enjoy it. But this weekend, we're gonna get back to work and get ready because we want to finish out the season strong. Uh, I mean, I took a lot of notice on some of the younger guys. Guys are playing um, in positions that they weren't necessarily that experienced in. I think a lot of guys stepped up today. So I'm very proud of them. Very excited to see uh, how they can continue to grow uh, these next four games. And uh, we all want to finish the season strong and end with a bowl game. Kind of folks talked about how difficult that discussion was for him in camp to tell you that you weren't going to be starting. What was your mindset since then? And how have you kind of just you know, always kind of kept yourself prepared since then? Um, yeah, you know, you just have to be ready whenever your members call it each and every week. And 
you know, we just talked about, you know, one play away. So whatever happens, you have to be ready. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a tough conversation, but, you know, coach has a lot of belief in me, and that's something that I'm just very thankful for, that all my coaches believed in me and um, gave me this opportunity to be able to go out there and with my teammates. But, yeah, you just got to prepare every week, like everybody on the team does. You know, we prepare our butts off, and, um, you know, that's how you gain confidence. As Carter, as things are kind of unraveling there, um, are you trying to say anything or do anything for the defense as they're just kind of turnovers and big plays and things that are going on? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's our job as, as leaders on the team um, to make sure that we respond when things happen. So, you know, when the offense fumbles, the defense needs to step up. When the defense lets up a, a long pass, the offense needs to come back. And that's what you saw throughout the night is different is offense responding to the defense's mistakes and the defense responding to the offense's mistakes and so you know the <clears throat> the less we can um, you know have those mistakes we're gonna put together a, a much better game um, but you know that tonight was huge just because we found a way to close the game even though we had a bunch of mistakes any other questions for the players